We'll go ahead and get started. We appreciate you all coming. We have uh, Council Member James Clendenin hiding in the back of the room and appreciate James being here today. Uh, even though it's a little bit warmer, we're still doing this inside. Megan originally had us going out on site to uh, the facilities and then she realized the mayor is not very good in the cold. So um, we do have we, we do have the vehicles outside that we'll talk about here in a minute, but we, we first thing on the block is to unveil our new sweepers. So officially today, they're not called street sweepers any longer. They're sweepers of the plains, but they have a really cool, really cool Wichita flag logo on them and we think that that's going to be a real hit for people viewing our sweeper of the plains as they are out in force for three shifts every day. So we run our street sweepers five days a week, first, second, and third shifts. And um, our focus on second and third shift is in the central business district and the industrial areas of town. Again, if citizens want to know where the street sweepers are at or when their block is going to be sweeped, the, um, you can go on the uh, Public Works and Utilities page under Streets and find an interactive map that shows you the sweeper of the plane's locations in real time, which we believe is uh, going to be very popular for people to jump on there and, and find out where they're at. Also want to thank one of our partners, Key Equipment, who crafted the design and installed the new flag design free of charge. So Key Equipment, thank you very much for what you've done to spread civic pride in our community and it really makes our sweeper of the plains even more enjoyable. So after we wrap up, we do encourage you to go out. We have two of them parked in the south parking lot so that you can take some pictures and um, we encourage citizens when they see them going up and down the streets to snap a photo and put it on social media. We think that uh, we'll enjoy seeing those all over town with the new flag logo on them. One of the things that we are working on right now is to uh, get feedback from our community. We truly believe government's a collaborative process with our citizens. And one way to do that is through a series of surveys, emails, and engagements. Currently, we have commissioned the National Citizen Survey Group in 2018 to reach out to residents. You will find, many of them will find a survey in your mailbox. It's designated the 2018 Citizen Survey. The first wave of surveys were mailed on January the 12th. A follow-up wave will be mailed tomorrow, January the 19th to about 1,800 households. Certainly, we hope that uh, people will fill those out and get them back into us so we can get input from our citizens. Uh, this certainly gives us a good indication of a representation of Wichita's with a plus or minus error of 5%. The survey is an opportunity for residents to rate service delivery as well as provide direction on a wide variety of issues which issues should be the top priority for the city of Wichita. Examples of services include snow removal, utility billing, parks, and fire services. Results of this tool to guide the 2019, will be to guide the 2019-2020 proposed budget process. We are encouraged feedback, and um, as a result of that, it will help us develop our priorities and our budget for this next year. Additionally, the results will be compared to other communities that have participated, such as Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Lincoln, and Kansas City. I want to touch on neighborhood cleanups. Applications for the 2018 Neighborhood Cleanup Program have gone out and can be located on the City Council pages at wichita.gov. In 2017, there were 63, 63 neighborhood cleanups, most of which were neighborhoods located in our central established area. 
a total of 980 tons of trash and waste were removed from neighborhoods, along with 4,345 tires. 53 were free cleanups and 10 fell under the Dollars for Doers program. Dollars for Doers neighborhoods have a medium income higher than 88,000 and pay 25% of their cost to do the cleanup. But even though there was more cleanup in 2017 than the previous year, the tonnage was less. So hopefully we are getting neighborhoods cleaned up. We're also encouraging metal scrappers to attend these cleanups and take anything for metal recycling. Staff estimates this saved the city more than $20,000 in disposal costs for 2017. Staff will continue to encourage neighborhoods to engage recyclers in 2018 and also encourage small areas that aren't a part of a formal neighborhood or homeowners association to contact the city about cleanup. We want to clean up our cities. If you have any more questions or need information, contact Becky Fields at 268-4197. Again, Becky Fields, who's in the attendance today, 268-4197 or her cell number, no, I won't. 24 <laughs> seven, Becky works for the city. <laughs> so at this point, before we go out and check out the uh, new flag logos on the sweepers of the planes, we'll pause there and ask if there are any questions. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I do have a question. And I think this was the case last year the sand that you guys are picking up, isn't that going to be recycled? Um, Alan, after his, he shuts off his phone from his mother, <laughs> did you need to take mom's call? All right. Are we recycling the sand that we pick back up off the streets? We inspect it for debris, and if it is clean enough, we use it on our landfill, cover our landfill. Yes, sir. Very good. We don't have a way of filtering it, though. We, we can screen it. So a little bit. Right. Some of it probably just goes back to the planes. Are we talking about all the streets here? The so, so we do arterial streets about eight times per year, eight times per year for arterial streets. Uh, neighborhood streets will do anywhere between one to three times a year. What I failed to mention is some of that's based on the amount of leaf waste that, that gets built up on the uh, neighborhood streets. And so we look at um, the need and, and we'll address those residential streets as they build up more leaf waste. But the uh, main arterials are getting swept about eight times per year. So the crews are out there, like I said, uh, almost 24 seven. So five days a week, three shifts, they are working the city and you can pull up on the website and see where the crew's at or get an estimated time of when your neighborhood street's gonna be swept. I think that's a, a great program and a great use of technology and, uh, and people care about, you know, having clean neighborhoods and clean streets and this is one more thing that we worry about, making sure that we're delivering services that our citizens want. Well, thank you all, appreciate it. But uh, if you'd like to take pictures, we welcome you to go outside and take a picture. You can see the sweeper of the planes from the windows on the far end of the building, but um, certainly get a better shot if you run out to the parking lot. And Council Member Clendenin will take you out there. Thank you.